Now imagine Lil Toy Story meeting Confucius. What would what, what do they say to each other, right? The celebration of one of China's most influential philosophers is also making a toast to the famed Russian literateur and philosopher, who very well might have been influenced by the Chinese thinker. According to records, Confucius's works were translated into various European languages in the 16th century and shaped many thinkers in Europe then and onwards. And at this year's Nation Forum in Chufu, Shandong Province, the birthplace of Confucius, a dialogue is taking place between the two brilliant minds. Shenli takes us there. To many foreigners, the understanding to Confucius is just limited to his name, or maybe excerpts from these analects chanted at the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympics. However, there's no denying that the ancient sage has helped carry Chinese culture through difficult times. And now his ideas may now point the way to a better future for mankind, and that's exactly what the Nishan Forum and the International Confucius Cultural Festival is trying to convey to a wider audience. A perfect example is the special panel discussion of the Chinese sage Confucius and Russian literature giant Leo Tolstoy, one of the highlighting events at the forum. Though living millennia and miles apart. They are able to have a dialogue transcending time and space due to their shared cultural perceptions. Scholars in Chufu, as well as other experts joining online from sub venues, including Beijing, Shanghai, and Saint Petersburg, have come to discuss the enduring impact of Confucianism on the Russian master. We know that Tolstoy speaks highly of traditional Chinese philosophy, and he shows great interest in Confucianism and Taoism. That he has even written short essays explaining the essence of Confucianism. And in that way, Tolstoy is helping to introduce Confucius's legacy to a wider Western audience, which is quite constructive in terms of mutual learning and respect. In Tolstoy's classic novel *War and Peace*. The humanitarian spirit he demonstrates through the twists and turns of the characters harmonizes with the traditional Confucian values of benevolence. Tolstoy has been conducting intensive research on Chinese philosophy all his life, and he has also quoted Confucius in his editorial works in newspapers and magazines for a Russian audience. He advocates benevolence and peace, which echoes the thoughts of Confucius. The dialogue between the two brilliant souls is truly a timeless crystallization of the cultural exchanges between the East and the West. Shen Li, CGTN, Chufu, Shandong Province.